Hey! Ah! Dragon Boy vs. Art Supplies Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have been gone for just over two months now, but I promise I haven't been doing absolutely nothing. I took the two weeks I promised myself off to just kind of recenter myself and really think about how I want to go about doing the videos for this channel because I don't want to stress myself out like I did last time. So I kind of decided that there's not going to be a schedule anymore. The basic too long didn't read is that I live in an apartment and I have one room for absolutely everything that I do. The gaming, the recording music, personal projects, hanging out, and basically literally everything that I do creatively, personally, or just in life is in here. Everything that I own is in here. So before a shoot, I have to move everything out of the way so it's not a bunch of stuff piled in the background. And then I gotta shoot the video. And I have to do that for every spot that I need to film. So if I'm sitting on the bed like I am now, I have to move a bunch of stuff. And then when the video's done, or when I'm done filming that part of the video, I have to move everything back, put the camera away so it's not in my way because this is a relatively tiny room and I have a lot of stuff. And doing that every single week is kind of stressful. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that anymore. Anyways, that aside, I have returned and today we're doing something super fun, which technically I've already done, but you're gonna watch the process as I talk you through it. But this is part one because while I am painting a guitar today, it is a guitar, so it needs to be set up. The electronics need to be wired up. The neck needs to be put back on. It needs to be strung up and it needs to be checked for uh, string height, therefore action, intonation, all that crazy stuff. So this is part one. This is the painting process and the lacquering process. And then my next video will be about me actually setting the thing up. And perhaps I can share some of what I know about setting guitars up, but Long intro aside, I really appreciate the fact that you guys have remained as subscribers while I've been gone. In fact, I've gained a lot more subscribers since I went and took the break, which is crazy. And it means the absolute world to me, but I suppose it is time that I talk you through the process of what I did to get this guitar to the point it is now. And you will see it at the end of the video. So let's get going. This is a snippet of a video I posted on July 7th, 2019, and while the guitar was playable and it seemed comfortable to play, that was far from the truth. There was a lot of issues I had to overlook just to be able to play it. The action was too high, the frets were buzzing, and the tuning stability was absolutely horrible, but this was kind of an example of what it looked like before I got to this process. The first thing I had to do was sand off the original lacquer and paint because I needed a blank canvas of sorts, which I didn't do on camera, but here's some pictures of the process, I suppose. And then I had to mask off all the binding, which took a decent bit of time. And then I had to mix some white acrylic paint with wood glue to create somewhat of a primer because I didn't have any primer nor money to buy it. So I made my own and it worked out beautifully and it was time to actually head over to my computer to create sort of a digital version of the design I wanted to actually put on the guitar. I did this digitally because it's a lot easier to hit control Z than to try and erase all your mistakes. So once that was done and I picked all the colors that I wanted or at least the general idea of colors that I wanted, it was time to transfer that design in terms of a sketch onto the actual instrument itself. And because my printer is not necessarily capable of printing a to scale size image, even in parts that I could tape together later, I had to essentially recreate the entire design with stencils, sort of, that would be taped in the center of the guitar and then flipped over to the other side and traced again to kind of get a mirrored look to it because I wanted it to be perfectly symmetrical on both sides or at least close to. Didn't end up being absolutely perfect. But once that was done, it was actually time to start painting. So I masked off 
everything that wasn't going to be the background and then went over it like crazy with a dark blue and then a light blue and then an even darker blue, I think. You'll have to pardon me for forgetting it's been about four weeks since I put the blue background color on. I let the blue paint dry for about a day or so because I didn't have complete faith in the primer coat that I created and put on there, but it ended up being perfectly fine. So when I peeled the masking tape off, nothing peeled, nothing went crazy. So it was time for me to start putting the actual details onto this thing, the wings, the horns, the scales, and the Therian symbol, which I was so worried about doing because honestly, I've never painted a guitar before. This is a very special guitar to me, and um, I really didn't want to mess it up. I'll let you enjoy sort of a time lapse of the process, and I'll see you when that's done. Why does my voice get so squeaky? I'm not a mouse. I'm a dragon. <laughs> And with that, this part of the project is done, and therefore this video as well. But I will mention what I was spraying on the guitar was not your typical Krylon clear coat. This is a spray lacquer, which goes on very, very thin, but provides very nice protection, which I think is very important for the fact that this is acrylic paint and can peel off quite easily. Um, but then I took a scotch bright pad, an extra fine one, and caressed the surface of this instrument to remove any roughness or like bits of material or dust that may have stuck to it outside. And then I took another extra fine uh, scotch pad or scotch bright pad with some turtle wax uh, polishing compound and went over the surface again just to bring back a little bit of the shine and uh, make it feel a little bit smoother to the hand. Of course, it's acrylic paint, so it's built up layers, give a bit of a texture to the instrument, but I don't, I don't think that it looks too bad. 
I, I really, really like the way this turned out. And one thing that I noticed is it seems like the, the uh, lacquer actually kind of added a bit of vibrancy to the color. And it's really hard to make out that difference on YouTube, but in person, the colors really pop. Perhaps in the future, when I have the money to buy a better camera that can represent colors a lot better, it'll be a lot more obvious. But I'm very proud of this. And I know that some people will think it kind of looks like a kid painted on it, but you know what? I'm a kid at heart, so I'll take it. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Mr. Edgar here would like to remind you that if you liked this video, then make sure to click that button because it really, really helps me out in the algorithm. And Devin here thinks that if you liked the video, you should also subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the other crazy things that I do. Right, buddy? Awkward when people hold him, but he loves it. And Lily here likes to be heard just as much as a bell likes to be heard, which is why she's trying to tell you you need to click that bell notification. Yeah. And Zeus here just wants to say hi, or at least he thinks so. He gets confused sometimes and doesn't quite know what's going on. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for cameoing. <laughs> <laughs>